Welcome back everyone to my YouTube channel. My name is Nilesh Dudatra and this video is talk about the Spring Boot uh, JPA and H2, right? So how to uh, store the information or data uh, by using the Spring Boot application. So for that, as we see the last example, inside the, in this example, I'm adding some dependency. So how can we add the dependency? So we have to open at first the pom.xml file. So these all are dependencies that we have used. Okay. So for that, for example, the web is there, right? So I want to use JPA and I want to use H2. So for that, I have to go for the Maven repository. Now I'm searching over here, JPA. Then JPA, the first link is that is a Java persistent API. I'm clicking in this URL. So I'm click the first version 1.0.2. So this one is a Java persistent API. So this one is not uh, uh, required right now. So again, I'm searching JPA. Yes, that this one is a JPA, Spring Boot Starter Data. So I'm using this dependency. I'm copy this dependency and put in my pom.xml file. I have not required the version name. So I'm removing the version name. Okay. Now second dependency that is H2. So H2 and so H2 database engine. Click on the first version. After that, I'm copying this file, uh, this dependency and put it into my um.xml file. I'm removing the version and this scope is run. I have to change the scope as a run. I'm saving this file. So according to that, the jar file are fetching from the web. Okay, now, so I'm having a student.java file that is uh, used for the student ID and student name and city, right? So. Uh, I have to change at first in the uh, application dot property page. So at first I have to write spring then dot spring dot then h2 dot console dot enabled is equal to true and second one is a spring and dot data source dot platform platform is equal to h2 then third one is a spring dot data source then url is equal to Let's uh, take a JDBC, then colon H2, then colon uh, M, E M, then colon. Let me take the name of a database that is a Nilesh. Okay, if you having uh, any another database, this one is a in uh, H2 database, right? So it's it's in a RAM only. So there is a not no any kind of uh, special database so software toolkit tool required. So if you if you, if you want to use the MySQL database, then Spring, then data source, then you have to pass the username and password, right? Then URL as usual. Generally, if you want to connect with the, any uh, database, then at that time uh, you have to require three things. That first one is a URL, second thing is a username, and third one is a password. So if you want to use uh, uh, these two property, username and password, then you can use the username and password. And if you want to connect with the any another platform, means any another software, at that time you have to use the platform. Means if you if you want to use Oracle, then you, you can use Oracle over here. So right now I am using H2 uh, database. 
now i'm saving the uh, this property file and relaunch the application okay it's executed and okay now uh, i want to open my database how can we see the database so localhost then colon 8080 then slash the name of h2 dash console yes it's open so this one is a url right uh, if uh, your url copy paste over here whatever you use the url that you have to copy paste and don't change the username and password just click on the connect okay fine over here there is a no any kind of uh, uh, table is there right so if you want to create a table according to your name over here so for that you have to write over here entity entity and second thing you have to write over here because this one is a primary key right so id so entity is uh, used for create this particular table the name of the table that is a student and the id so sid is a primary key uh, as a integer right so let me execute the program let's check the table has been created or not so relaunch the application and let me refresh the page then connect yes this this has been created sid sct then s name right and the, this one is a primary key so let me run there is no any kind any row over here so now uh, let me change uh, one thing whatever we i pass the data that is stored in this database right so at first i have to create one form so to create the form I'm use the uh, a good design that I'm searching web form in the bootstrap. So I'm click over here. So one example of the form over here that I'm copying this page and I'm printing over here. I'm removing the extra code and put over here. Then the name of uh, uh, I'm changing the name. For example, student registration form, right? For example, this is a name of the college. So let me take some college name like XYZ college. Then what is the first parameter that is a SID, right? So S student id then the input that is a sid whatever we filled that is a in, the, in the class name we have to put same over here then the name of sid the type is a text right i am removing, removing extra words extra properties in the html so student id then i had not required these things so remove this all things and we put a simple student id then it's okay not required as uh, this field so this one is a first then copy and paste i'm removing removing all these other things second one is a student name then the id is a s name let me let me put, put the uh, placeholder as student name and third one is a student city for example so so s city and then placeholder student student city 
so i am having a, this id let me put the name property also so name is equal to s id and name is equal to s name and s city then this one is a submit button and whatever the request uh, we, have, we have to pass it to the uh, by using the action property of the form is equal to add student so this one is a simple uh, web page designing so this one is an action right so we have to create one uh, another action that is a add student right so i'm creating over here the one more page i'm not required a service pay, uh, then so I'm removing this service and instead of service, I put the uh, add student. If you want to change the function name, then it's okay. Otherwise, it, uh, it, there is not any problem as usual. So, so I'm creating add or save student. Now, whenever I'm click over here, at that time, the, the page uh all the information has been saved in the table right in this table so how can we achieve the these things so for that at first i have to create one interface so i'm clicking over here right click then new then class the name of the class let me take a student a repository student repository and i am using one in uh, facility that is a extend then include include repository Okay, over here I have to use interface and then to repository. Okay, so student and the ID. This one is a class name, right? So student is a class name and ID. So whatever the primary key we have to pass over here. So we have a uh, the type of a primary key. It means integer okay so i not remove the i am removing this file this import so we not need to write anything else over here so i am uh, closing this then i am creating the object of student repository so for that i have to use student repository R E P O repo. Then I have used the uh, annotation auto wire. Auto wire. Then whatever the data fetch that is a pass to the repo dot save. This one is a functionality is provided by this uh, crude repository. So I'm clicking over here. You can see the save all. That is a uh, if you having a more object, then you can create a uh, array of the object. You can pass over here. You can save all the information. Then you have to, if you want to find out the any particular student by using ID. And yes, one more that is a save function is there. Delete function is there. So all these functions are inbuilt uh, in the. Uh, crude repository so save function is there so i had not tried anything inside the uh, student repository okay so whatever the information pass in uh, that is by parameter student and stu so i am passing this information to the object of repo so that's it whatever the information fetching from the web page of home 
home page from home page that is passing to the add student action and it will be uh, used to store the information let re-execute relaunch the application and let we check is it executable or not okay uh, now let me check removing this information then home page okay so it's uh, looking very nice so uh, we have to use a bootstrap applications right yeah so that's looking very nice then i'm open the database and uh, run then there is a no any kind of row available over here let me put some information in this page and submit let me check yes this information has been fetched and stored in this database let me uh, put some more data for example 21 a sock then the name of uh, student city that is Ahmedabad and submit let me check run yes there is it okay if you want to update the information then you can uh, use for example these are 20 uh, 21 SID student ID I want to change the city of the Asok right 21 uh, is student ID and you have to pass over here 21 then uh, the name of the student Asok then the city name I'm changing the to Rajkot let me submit this information and run so the city name has been changed so by using this functionality you can add save plus update the information of the student so up to this uh, guys uh, we will see more info uh, more about the spring boot uh, web application in the next lecture thank you very much